Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update. We're going to be talking about the New York Giants, our 2020 preview of the Giants coming up on this report, over under, chances to win the division, all that good stuff. Also, at the end of this report, I've got a free NFL draft prop pick. Uh, so that's all coming up on this report. First, a real quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account if you wish. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or any other capper at DocSports.com. Coming up another nice Saturday. We swept Saturday. Listen, there might not be North American sports going on right now other than eSports, which I just can't get into, uh, but there are other sports that are bettable and beatable. We just swept our uh, Taiwan baseball play for Saturday on China Trust, a 6-2 to two winner, and uh, we had a nice five-star play uh, in the Nicaraguan soccer, a first-half play that cashed for us also. So a nice Saturday sweep. Here's the catch. I'm not involved in any of Sunday games. We have uh, the couple of soccer leagues that I've been following, Nicaragua and of course Belarus, and uh, we don't have any soccer going on there on Sunday. There are two Taiwan baseball games on Sunday uh, starting in early in the morning, uh, but here's what has happened because there's only four teams. Uh, you do know the haves and the have-nots pretty quick, and I'll give you an example. China Trust, when we bet on China Trust for Saturday morning's game against Uni, uh, we laid a buck 40. It skyrocketed a few hours later. They're playing again on Sunday morning, and that line's 250 and above in some spots. So uh, you look at Rakuten taking on uh, their opponent and the particular opponent they're playing on Sunday, which they beat on Saturday. Uh, they went into this season like on a 27 and 12 run with a, a tie or two, and they do have ties because uh, if it does go into extra innings, they only play through 12 innings, and then it ends at a tie if it's still locked up at that point. But here's the cool thing. Not only will we have that to choose from, uh, but the Korean Baseball League gets underway on Monday night. Another cool thing is it's late Pacific time on Monday night or night games that we're going to see action. So it'll be a little bit after prime time, Pacific time, early in the morning, shortly after midnight Eastern time, uh, Monday night, Tuesday morning, if you're on the East Coast for Korean baseball. But that'll be my next action will be on Monday. We've been handicapping the heck out of Korean baseball. We expect to find success there too. Uh, my Korean baseball, by the way, will be available at DocSports.com on my handicappers homepage at, uh, after 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Monday again at DocSports.com for Monday Night Korean Baseball and uh, again later on this week we'll be back in action when they take the pitch in both Belarus and Nicaragua soccer and uh, of course we'll be looking at Taiwan baseball each and every time they lace them up and suit them up and and uh, head between the lines so we'll talk about those on a daily basis let you know to what, when to jump in but today we're going to be talking about the New York Giants as we continue our NFC East preview uh, team by team thumbnail early sketch for the upcoming season and we'll also give you that uh, that free NFL draft prop that we happen to like let's first jump on those New York Giants and I'll tell you what the over under wins total is six and a half minus a buck 15 on the under Giants plus 750 uh, to win the division of course they don't have Eli Manning anymore it's Jones at quarterback to start he's got Colt McCoy behind him right now but uh, listen I, I'm an Eli Manning fan for the most part he won two Super Bowls as the quarterback of that organization but it was time to move on there's no doubt about that uh, his skills had diminished and uh, they've got you know to turn the reins over to the young quarterback in Jones so I'm, I'm okay with that uh, they did uh, sign James Bradbury at corner which is a good news move for the New York Giants because this defense is all about being rebuilt right now and they only won four games a season ago so they got a lot of rebuilding to do on defense I thought Bradbury was a good sign in a corner uh, I like Blake Martinez the inside linebacker uh, who's going to be a part of this team Leonard Williams solid up front he's not great but I think he's going to have a good year I think he's going to be solid in uh, Patrick Graham's 34 scheme Patrick Graham is going to be calling the shots for the Giants defense Defense. The offense has the potential to show improvement in 2020. Should be good on the ground. You got Jones, you know, basically the guy now. Uh, and of course, you've got an offensive line that, that ought to be a little bit better and decent. Well, I wouldn't say overwhelmingly decent receivers, but a better crew uh, than they had over the last four or five years for the most part. The biggest problem for the Giants, besides the fact that they are rebuilding on defense, uh, is their strength of schedule. If you've watched my other NFL individual team videos, you've seen that I do rate 
upcoming season schedules based on what the book said their opponents wins totals are going to be or have posted uh, not necessarily on what the teams did a year before I think that's wacky to do that if you're talking about the NFL and we give the New York Giants strength of schedule score 136.5 136.5 if you take that number for a strength of schedule and put it into 2019's groupings you'll see it was the second toughest rated schedule all of last year it's going to be tough for this team to, to, to top six wins I mentioned that total sitting at six and a half but you look at their non-divisional road games at Baltimore at Chicago uh, at the Rams all of those are tough they, they could get by uh, the Cincinnati Bengals on the road so that's a winnable road game and uh, you've got at Seattle so there's some really tough outside of the division road games other than maybe the Cincinnati Bengals I mean one win on the non-division road is likely all we're going to see out of the New York Giants unless they pull an upset along the way. As far as their home games outside of the division, they've got Arizona, San Francisco, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Tampa Bay. I mean, this team's playing an ultra-tough schedule. Going to be one of the toughest two or three schedules all of the NFL coming up in 2020. And uh, because of that, because of the rebuild mode on defense, I think it's going to be a situation where the New York Giants finish under six and a half wins in 2020. The Giants under their current wins total and there's no way I'm going to look for a plus 750 to win the division. I, uh, they're not going to get there in all likelihood. All right, uh, free draft prop that I'm looking at for the upcoming draft, which begins this coming Thursday. And uh, what I'm looking at here is the Big Ten, the conference, the Big Ten, uh, the amount of players drafted in round one. Now, the over-under is five and a half players out of the Big Ten to be drafted in round one. And I've seen the line anywhere from minus a buck 20 to minus a buck 30. So uh, just shop around if you agree with this and want to jump on board. Uh, for that best price. We know who's going to go in the draft for sure. Uh, and that'll be like Jeff Okuda, of course, the corner. Uh, you've also got Chase Young. Those two, of course, from the Ohio State Buckeyes. They're going to go in the first round. Chase Young likely one of the top two or three picks. Uh, Iowa's got an offensive tackle in the mix. Wisconsin's linebacker Zach Bond is going to be in the mix in the first round. You've got a Minnesota defensive back by the name of Winfield uh, who's going to be going in the first round in all likelihood. Penn State's going to throw a defensive end into the mix. A guy by the name of Gross Mattel his last name and I think you're going to see a situation where he goes uh, later in the opening round there's an outside chance that Ohio State could get a third player uh, drafted in the opening round I don't think it's going to happen with Dobbins but there is that outside shot because at worst he's probably going to go early second now that doesn't happen to help us uh, with over five and a half players in the Big Ten if he goes early in the second but I've just mentioned six other players who will probably be going in the opening round so he probably won't need Dobbins so Simple as that. So anyway, uh, I think we're going to see over five and a half players out of the Big Ten drafted in the opening round. Again, it's a small favorite, $1.20 to $1.30 or thereabouts. That's our free prop on this report. So that prop plus under six and a half wins on the New York Giants for the upcoming 2020 campaign. Don't forget, we're not in action in Chinese baseball, Taiwan baseball on Sunday, uh, but we will be back in action with Monday Korean baseball. I'll do a video by then to let you know about it. Be like for, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Monday when I post that particular video, along with another, our next NFC East uh, team that we're going to do a thumbnail preview on. So there you go. That's our report for Sunday. Hope you like it. If you do, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.